Now we just covered the Foxeer Aura three and a half inch fine and fly with the DJI O3 unit, but now we have the five inch ultralight version. Now this is using 2105 motors, but this is the RCN power. And that's because this is actually a custom build by Joe Mama. Now the reason why I thought this frame had to go to Joe Mama was because it has a really nice green fleck to the carbon fiber, very stylish and very rare. I haven't seen many do it. And of course, Joe Mama decked it out with signature prints in which he installed the O3 unit. Now check out the GPS that he's put at the back. Now in order to get clear GPS signal, he actually mounted his O3 unit in the middle and the stack at the back. Whoa. And he even put a buzzer up front and really cool LEDs on the bottom. What a custom build. Those that don't know, Joe Mama used to once work as a professional builder for Catalyst Machine Works and now he just builds fresh builds for himself and sometimes OG Slim, Sam O. Over there. Let's take a closer look. The Foxier Aura Light is a five inch ultralight long range frame by Foxier. It takes many of the design elements of the Aura three and a half inch frame and stretches them out uh, to be a bit lighter at just over 70 grams, a bit longer to accommodate full electronics, whoop all in ones, and plenty of space for your HD system or DJI O3. It comes with GoPro style mounts, but with the front camera mount that Joe Mama found, it can hold the DJI O3 no problem once you print it out for that two 0.7K high frame juicy footage that has left many of us wondering if we ever need a GoPro again. It should be noted that the O3 camera can't fit inside the default camera standoff with and taking the camera forward does reduce some of your durability. But if you're using it for its intended purpose, it should be fine, which is more long range, less crashing and bashing. The thinner arms are for flying a long time, not for taking crashes, as a decent crash did snap one of the arms in Joe Mama's track attempts. Of course, we know that this is not a racing drone, but sometimes we just can't resist. One nice feature is the flecked green shaded carbon fiber unique to the combination of this frame. Four inches a popular long range size, but upgrading the video system adds a bit of weight and gives you options to add a nicer size 21 or 22 millimeter motor for more power and a longer top plate for a much larger battery allowing you to have the power to keep you interested and the flight time should you decide to use it you can see from Lamone's last review of the Flywoo 4 inch O3 binder fly he ended up spending almost as much time as a full build adding conformal coating B7000 and other build touches to make it last longer. And if you plan to do that anyway, you may as well start from scratch, selecting the components you want to use. I personally like five inch for ultralight long range, a little more than four inch. It just is more versatile. If you do want the slower, more controllable pace, you can always just add a little bit of a throttle cut or run a forest battery on 6s kv motors which is nature's throttle cut so what do you guys think in the comments if you wanted to do long range with the o3 unit this is a really nice combination i'm gonna have a full build list in the bottom so that you can copy joe mama's signature green build or build it out in whatever color you prefer